One fight in the US this week went to a loud outsider. Now the election's over. The real bout, UFC 205 at Madison Square Garden, the first ever MMA fight at the venue. The headline act, Conor McGregor going head to head with Eddie Alvarez. Both join us now. Gentlemen, we start with a question from our viewers. Trump says he's going to make America great again. How would you make the UFC great again? Conor, you first. I've already made the UFC great. 4.2 billion it was sold for. I mean, what more? What more do I need to say on that? Eddie, your thoughts? I think I think that the the fighters the fighters and the fights are what makes UFC great. And I think uh, number one contenders. Uh, fight. Come on, Eddie, speak the truth here. What am I speaking? I mean, it's we saw we good. saw the documents that Lorenzo put together to, to, to give to the new owners. It's 75 percent of the of the earning power it was me. That's in writing. I mean, let's let's call a spade a spade here. Good for Without you. me, you're talking you're talking 150 thousand buyers. When you're talking me, you're talking two million buyers. Good Speak the truth. Go for you. Hey, the UFC is good because of the fighters okay. and the fights. Okay. You were on welfare, bro. Okay. Then Who you ain't no man. You took welfare. Okay. Don't then, talk. Then don't what, talk about what, money. Don't you talk happened, about money? Then, then, then you took, wasn't it you took money from there. single moms. Single moms go on welfare, not men. Come you don't you. talk about money. All right. Keep your mouth shut when it talks about money. Connor, All you're going for history, mate. Money. The first You'll man to hold two money. UFC back titles at once. Be back on welfare after You'll this. You boys money. go take it away for me. All right, boys. We saw at today's press conference Eddie getting his belt stolen off the table by you, Connor. Can we expect some similar sneaky tactics by you in the fight? Yes. Eddie, let's talk to you about uh, your victory over Dos Anjos in July. That was your win to take the crowd. You were an outsider on that occasion. Again, you're not favoured. Are you getting the respect that you deserve? Uh, I was a three to one underdog there, and I show, and I and I I denied popular opinion, and I will deny popular opinion again. That's what I like to do. My favourite thing to tell people is I told you so, and I'll do it again. Connor, UFC 202 was bigger than UFC 200. That was largely down to your performances. Is this fight reward for your pulling power, or does the interest have more to do with the huge depth on this lineup? I'm the reason. That it's it's nobody else. So UFC 202, UFC 196, UFC 194, UFC 189. All record breakers, all smashed previous records, even this one. The gate, the attendance, of course the pay-per-view. Who, who, who do you think that is? I mean, there's one common denominator and that's me. I mean, you take me out and you're talking 150,000 buyers and that is facts. I mean, I ain't, I ain't bragging here, I'm just stating fact. Eddie, back to you. Connor, we know, was unable to knock out Nate Diaz in his most recent fights. Do you think he's got the punching power to cause you some serious trouble at the higher weight division? He does well. He did well with Nate, but Nate's a 500 lightweight. Nate, Nate couldn't cut it in the lightweight division. That's why Nate's going up and down and wherever he can go. Um, Nate's a 500 lightweight, and he beat Connor. So um, Connor should be blessed that he gets to fight me. Connor, Madison Square Garden, pretty much the holy land in the world of boxing. What does it mean to you to be involved in the first ever MMA bout there? Does that sort of history excite you? 100% uh, it's motivating. I mean, the history in, in that arena has been amazing. The, the, the gate um, the gate of Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield we've beaten. I mean, there are two huge names in the world of boxing. The attendance of Ali Frazier, two of the biggest. And we've beaten that record also. So I'm very, very happy, very honored to be in here. And I look forward to going and being the first, um, the first mixed, ma mixed martial artist to do it. So I look forward to going in there and show them to the public once again, show them to the, to the world that this is the premier sport on planet Earth. Connor, if you're successful, would you seriously try and attempt to maintain both those belts? It'd be quite a feat. I mean, I'm so active, who else could do it? I certainly could do it. You're trying to strip me before I even get it. So. Um, I'm more than cap capable of defending both belts 100%. Eddie, there's no question, as we've seen in this interview, Connor's larger than life. Some opponents can't handle that. How are you managing it? Do you even enjoy it a little bit? Yeah, I think it's fun. Um, 
I think there's a difference between popularity and being good at fighting. Uh, I've been guilty of not talking enough in the past, not maybe saying how I feel because I was worried about what people would say about me. So um, I'm having a good time being myself. I like the way this guy talks. He's funny, and uh, it's been a good time. Eddie, we know you're a Philadelphia local. Do you see this New York fight as a home bout, given that Connor is, of course, from Ireland? Yeah, the East Coast is, is, is my home. Um, people are going to be coming up from Philadelphia, and um, we'll see because the fights in the stands will be more exciting than the ones in the octagon. It's certainly going to all be happening. Connor, Eddie, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.